Hello students, in this video we will be learning about how to write the electronic configuration. Now the word configuration means arrangement whereas the word electronic goes for the electrons. So basically electronic configuration is the arrangement of electrons. Now electrons address can be designated by three things that is shelves then sub shelves and the third thing is orbitals now for writing the electronic configuration atomic number is a must so we should know the atomic number of an element now to write the electronic configuration we have to follow a principle called alpha principle now this alpha principle states that electrons are filled in the lower energy orbital and then the higher energy orbital so he introduced a pattern as to how we have to fill the electrons now the first we have 1s then 2s 2p then 3s 3p then 3d then 4s 4p 4d and 4f next is 5s 5p 5d 5f then 6s 6p 6d 7s 7p and last we have 8s so when we have to fill the electrons it will first be filled in the 1s then in 2s then 2p then the electron is filled in the 3s then 3p then the electron will be filled in 4s then the electron will be filled in 3d then 4p then 5s similarly the electron now follow in the 4d then 5p then 6s next the electron will be filled in 4f 5d 6p then 7s and then the electron will be filled in these orbitals as the arrows follow there is a basic rule behind why uh, 1s has to be considered first now let me represent one thing if 1s is written in this way 1 shows the number of shell which is represented by n and s shows the sub shell which is represented by l so n is 1 and l is 0 now we have uh, four sub shells that is s p d and f now for representing s the value of l is 0 for p it is 1 for d it is 2 and for f it is 3 if we write 2 s we have 2 as the shell that is second shell now the electron is filled in the 
second shell and since s is given it is a sub shell and for sub shell the value of l is 0 now next is if we write tree p that means we have third shell and p denotes here the sub shell and it is represented by l and the value of n will be 3 and l will be given value 1 Apo declared one thing that energy is always will be according with the formula that is n plus l so if we have 1s 2s and 2p if we add the value of n and l so we know n here is 1 uh, here the value of n is 2 n is again 2 and for s the value of l is 0 and for p the value of l is 1 so if we take the sum n plus l over here we see that 1 plus 0 will be 1 2 plus 0 will be 2 and 2 plus 1 will be 3 so we observe that 1 is the least energy so 1s will be given the first position now 2s will be given the second position and 2p will be given third position now this is how he arranged the subshells now s subshell has only one orbital p has three orbitals d have five orbitals and f has seven orbitals now each orbital can contain only two electrons with opposite direction so if two electrons will be filled in each orbital and with opposite direction so first they are half filled then they are completely filled with opposite direction so this is the rule for filling the electrons now let's get started with atomic number one so it means that they have only one electron in it and to fill this one electron we know in accordance with our principle 1s comes the first and since there is only one electron so this one will be written as the superscript so this is the electronic configuration for the atomic number one now if we have atomic number two then again we have one s but the superscript will be two one s have two electrons in it in the above example we have it has only one electron if we have three then we have to write one s two then two s one in accordance with our principle one s will be completely filled then the next shell will be filled so we have three electrons so two will be filled in the first one and only one is left so we will write one over here if we have four electrons then we have to write one is two then two is two then for five we have to write one is two two is two then again comes the two p and now it will have only one electron because five electrons has to be filled if we have 6 then we have to write 1s2 2s2 then 2p2 so if we have atomic number 15 then we have to write 1s2 2s2 
then two p six. So in p has six electrons in it. Now total ten electrons has been done. Now the next is three s two. Now twelve electrons. That means three p three will be written in this way. So the electronic configuration is. 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 then 3p3 this is how the electronic configuration can be written now we have 24 atomic number so we have 24 electrons so first 1s2 two electrons are filled now 2s2 again four electrons have been filled now we left with 20 electrons again we have 2p6 then 3s2 now we have 12 electrons 3s2 then 3p6 we have 18 then 3d six now one thing is important that while writing electronic configuration the d orbital we know have only five orbitals in it so if we fill these uh, six electrons over here if we remove this one electron then it will be a half filled so there is the principle that if you get a suitable condition in which if you have to remove one electron and you get the condition of half filled then remove it from here and put it in the next one that is 4s1 so this will be written as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 then 3d5 and 4s1 so this will be the electronic configuration